Our curious student, let's see what is there in this question. Some of the nuclear energy levels of the oxygen and the nitrogen are shown. The nucleus of 14 decays into the nucleus N14 with the emission of the positron and gamma radiation. What is the maximum energy of the positron and the energy of the gamma rays? Yes, so what we do here is we must know that when um, this transition is taking place, like let's say oxygen nucleus is converted into nitrogen, beta particle or the positron is emitted. Now when the positron is emitted, yes, the nucleus has converted itself. Now it is no longer oxygen, it is converting into nitrogen 14, but it is in the excited state now. So it has to come down to the ground state. Now it will be emitting the gamma radiation. It is always like that. Gamma is emitted only and only when the nucleus is in the excited state and it's coming down to the ground state. It means that the energy for the positron will be 4.1 minus 2.3 minus 2.3 and which will be 1.8. So this will be the correct answer. And the energy of gamma will be 2.3 minus 0 from the point of view of nitrogen excited and the ground state. So clearly the answer here will be 2.3. Hence, the answer will be A. Nothing else to do in this. So this is how we do this. Okay, dear student, let's see what is the answer given. And yes, of course, the answer is A. This is how we do it. This is Professor Varun. Thanks for watching. Please join the YouTube channel to access paper two questions as well as to access the uh, topic two, topic four and topic nine a lecture series that I have created and uploaded that might benefit you tomorrow. All the best.